Hey, it's Michelle from Weekend Craft here. And today we're going to be talking about sublimation paint. Now, sublimation paint is a great way to get started in sublimation without actually having to buy a sublimation printer. Now, I am going to be using Artist Free Sublimation Acrylic Paint. And this has been out for a little bit, maybe like a year or two. Um, and they come, or they used to come, in these bottles in kind of your primary colors. So, Artist Spray has just come out with new packaging and also a lot more new colors, which means so much more possibilities for using the colors straight out of the bottle or mixing them together. Now, the bottle is much easier to use. It's similar to like an acrylic paint bottle that you would get at the art store. So we're gonna jump right into this. And what I like about this project is that if you guys are already maybe like a Cricut or a Silhouette user, and you have a heat source like a heat press or an easy press that goes up to 400 degrees, then you're going to be able to do this project. So all you need is your sublimation paint, which I'll link below in the description. I'm gonna grab some paint brushes and then just some printer paper. Also, you will need your sublimation blank. There are an array that you can use. Um, you can grab some from Artist Free. You can grab some on Amazon. Um, I'll link a few below for um, you guys to look at. So let's jump right into this and try out this Artist Free sublimation acrylic paint. So a little bit of this paint goes a long way. We'll add some pink in. And a little bit of the red. Now what I will say with this, like this red looks magenta, at least in the bottle. When you press it, the color is going to change a bit. So never really judge the color by how it looks. So we will get started with this. I think I'm gonna do a floral design. So I'll add in a little bit of green. Maybe a tiny bit of yellow. And some purple. Okay, so I have these coasters. Um, I just had them on hand. These are from Artist Spree as well. So what I'm going to do Let's make myself a little bit of a template. Now, don't worry about the pencil showing through. It will not transfer when we're sublimating. Only sublimatable inks will. I'm gonna put those aside. I'm actually going to protect my surface here because I'm only print or only painting on printer paper, so I don't want anything to go through. So I'm grabbing this glass bat, and then I'm just going to start to paint. Now you can do something really abstract. If you are a good artist, you can do that as well. Um, just gonna do some like abstract flowers, I think. So I'll just do some like interesting shapes and then we'll see how they come together. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're not really an artist, this is such an easy way to do like a floral pattern. Just kind of draw or paint some circles. And then we'll add some detail in after. I love these glass mats. This is from We Are Memory Keeper. They just clean up really well when you're doing projects. Also, I have this brush drying rack. Um, this is from Artbin. It also at the bottom has a brush cleaner. This is a game changer. Your brushes will last so much longer if you actually let them dry upright instead of like laying them down or having them dry. I don't know, I love it. It's one of my favorite things I have in the entire craft room. Okay. So now I'm going to let this dry. Now you can speed up this process if you have like a heat gun or a blow dryer. Um, I'm just gonna let it air dry and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add some details to this sort of abstract floral print. And we're going to add these details with a marker. Now, this is one of the markers from Artist Spree. It's a sublimation marker. They have a fine point tip. They also have ones that have the chisel tip. So I think I'm gonna use this black one here. So, whoa, don't do that. But once I come back, we are going to add some dimension to this. Okay, so the paint has seemed to dry. So I'm going to take our marker and I'm just going to start drawing in some details to these flowers. So I might do some leaves here, kind of some squiggles for petals, maybe a little spot in the middle um, for the, the center of the flower. So. And I've never done this before, so we'll even see if it works, but. Seems like it is working just like I imagined. Okay, so this in general is just how I draw flowers. Just kind of do some squiggles in a circle. Okay, so this is where we ended up, just kind of like a fun floral. So the next thing that we are going to do is take our coaster and tape it down into place on top of our painting. The one thing I do like to do is to use a 
lint brush and to run it over any of my sublimation blanks. That way, if there's any fiber or anything on here, it will remove it. So we're going to put this sublimation side down. And I kind of made this so the paint may go off of it. And this is a heat resistant tape. You can get this from Artist Spree, Cricut. So I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press for this. I'm turning it on. I am going to set the temperature for 400 degrees, which it's already on. And then for the time for these coasters, we are going to do, oops, hard to do this upside down, but we are going to do nine, 60 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna let this heat up. I'm gonna put it to the side here. Then I'm gonna use this protective paper that's also from Artist Spree. What I do is I kind of make like a sandwich with it. So I'm gonna put this down and put this over. So what this does, it's going to protect any of the sublimation ink that comes out from our bottom surface here. This is a heat resistant mat, also from Artist Spree, and it is going to protect our heat press as well. Now, sublimation, how it works is it is solid or liquid state, like the ink, that when heat comes to it, at a certain temperature, it lets off a gas. So that goes straight into your sublimation blank, which is essentially something that is coated with polyester. So when this heats up, the paint will go into that polyester coating and it is a permanent process. We are ready to press. So I'm going to put this right on, and I'm going to give it just a little bit of pressure, probably like a medium pressure. Now, you don't want to just touch this. You want to get out some heat resistant gloves. I'll link these for you below. You can also just let it cool completely. Okay, let's see how this came out. Okay, you're gonna see it first. Ah, that is so cool. And that is how you sublimate without a printer. Very cool. So it truly was that easy. These coasters came out really cute, but more importantly, I wanted to show you guys a really easy way to try out sublimation. The other thing I didn't mention is that using paints like this are a great way to kind of keep your kids' artwork forever. So you can have them paint or with the markers, draw on computer paper, and then transfer it on to something that will last you forever. Now, these coasters make me think of Christmas, and I had a really fun craft night up here with my niece and nephews, and I gave them the pens, and I had some sublimation ornaments, 
and I let them create artwork that we turned into ornaments for everyone in the family. So on Christmas, they could give them a gift that they made themselves. So super fun way to craft with kids. You guys just need to do the heat pressing yourself. So if you liked this video, liked my teaching style, and want to follow along for more sublimation, cricket, laser cutting, and general crafts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I post videos pretty much every week, and um, I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.